What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off up and last time, we have begun our push into Austrian territory. And we're going to intercept this small army near Serbia. So without further ado, let us fight. It's not that I think it's going to be a particularly difficult fight. It's more about the fact that this could be quite a nice, simple win for us. There won't be much need for... Well, when you've got these small stacks floating around, it is handy just to kill them, rather than letting them continue to float. Because I find the smaller armies... Um, they raid and do lots of frustrating things, but they also join up with other armies. Armies that you think you've defeated, they will rejoin with and cause you lots of problems. So we want to deploy... Sort of inside the town? I'm going to... I want to deploy aggressively, so... Let's take these grenadiers as well. They can come in, come out via the town. Maybe just on the flank. Same with Feline. Riskers of Souls are going to push... Well, all of my melee infantry is going to push up on the right flank. What I wanted to do was, I was currently working on the left, I wanted to use my cavalry as a shield, or my camels as a shield, to allow me to push my infantry up fairly dependably. Too bad I forgot about a unit of demi cannons. These fools actually charged a bunch of melee infantry, including and in, in, including infantry con um, consisting of grenadiers. Curassiers, that's not good. So let's run. Someone over to help support that. I want to charge them into the Pandora, but not, not religiously so. My intention is to drive my melee infantry through and break their flank. Which I think is a likely possibility. Camels can just dismantle their cavalry. Um, how are the militia winning? Well, they won't know how many riskers of souls have arrived. Oh, you charge in. These guys are getting eviscerated. Charge in. There we go. Well, they've been broken. Just hold the line, Grenadiers, while the reinforcements come in. This is a very bloody battle. Cav came back. 
Oh, he certainly did. <laughs> and uh, routed. God, that was a really messy battle to kick off the episode. So much so, I don't even want to chase them down. I don't deserve that. Oh, I might have killed them anyway. Oh no, they've got 95 men remaining split between three units. It's still good. So we're, gonna have, we're really going to have our work cut out against the Prussians. Because the Prussians are great at firing drills. We're prob well, we're going to need a hell of an economy driving us because we're going to be having a really high turnover of troops. It's pretty elite Spanish uh, Spanish uh, navy back there. Hmm. But are we at war with Poland? That would be an important thing to note. Because judging from the how the maps looked earlier, we may be. Gambit, Gannet, Afghanistan has emerged because the Prussians took Paris. And the French lost their territory. I have no reason to attack them. I'm just going to let them be them. So we've got carcass shots. Good. We need reorganised procurement to build gunnery school. So, Konya, get on with it, please. Oh, good. New towns. Aswan in Egypt. I mean, you're already pretty much them as it is. And you're about to develop Suez as well as another village. Mm -hmm. Are we all going to have a craft workshop we've also got rashed in Azerbaijan also another pretty valuable region so let's keep going with the instruction um, the infrastructure game because infrastructure promotes turn wealth town wealth which makes poor units um, wealthy. Then we also ah, enemy agent. But let's also replenish troops. Can't recruit anything. Stash don't want to recruit anything. Let's make it a military governor's encampment because I doubt Belgrade is going to be an economic powerhouse. Um, you still do want a garrison, so I'm not about to just lose a bunch of troops. So you're becoming a school, you're being upgraded as well. Add on another second rate ship of the line. Good stuff. Or I might actually want to do something like... Spending a bit more money on economy. A very poor iron workshop. I don't see why you should be poor. Anchor is going really well, but I suppose it's that filtering out. So you're poor and you're very poor. So this is the better thing to invest in. Because 100 per town wealth and 10 per 100 region wealth plus 10 per turn. And this guy's only 800. Good stuff. Nation destroyed. Portugal. Spain finally took him out. It's Poland. No, no, we're friendly with Poland. Uh, Spain. Let's trade. See, even our enemies don't really hate us that much. Australia. Austria's. Australia. Austria's indifferent. Russia really hates us. What if we just peace town traded? 
Good. So now everyone likes us. All the major powers, none of them really hate us. But we are going to stay at war with them. Uh, what about Denmark? Yeah, friendly with Denmark. But they're a protector of Dagestan. Too bad Afghanistan doesn't want to trade with us. Uh, Dagestan doesn't want to trade with us either. I'm tempted to push this army up to Bulgaria. Just to cut... Well... Well, I kind of am and I aren't. I'm tempted to do it to force their hand, but I also want to put some troops. I do also need to keep... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put some troops here to threaten them. Because I want them to march off and give me a good shot at trying to kill one of these actual armies. That's what I would like. Attack is okay. Let's hit end turn. Spies on his long walk. Some Austrian forces have pulled out. It looks like they might have actually abandoned Serbia. They're offering me four grand for copper bottoms. Yes. That's a great, great deal. I'll take 4,000 smackers. Because I've still got so much stuff to buy. Poland wants an alliance with us. Who are you at war with? Austria and Prussia. That... Mm, I suppose Prussia is the natural place to expand into as I push into the country. Yes. The Poles and the Ottomans. Traditional allies. It would be really fun to do a Polish campaign. Get the winged hussars in, charging across and down into the Ottoman Empire. That'd be great. Morocco is being classic Morocco. The Mughals are landing troops overseas. So now an interesting possibility has arisen that we now have a sufficiently strong navy. Oh no, they sabotaged our farm. Yeah, they've bailed. They have booked it. So, yeah, just take, take Sophia. You push up to the river. Same with these guys. Uh, don't push over the ford, just push up to it. We may even be able to intercept. Okay, because we're now at peace with Russia and we're allied with the Poles. Let's send this guy down to try and kill oh, a very good priest. You are going to get built into a madrasa, my son. But let's see if we can... That's bait. Let's see if that's enough to bring them back. Let's do some repairing on our nearby shores. And we have another school in Istanbul. Let's set them to research. Puddling furnace. It's going to take them a while. But they are growing. And Adrian Adrianopol is going to grow as well and that'll help offset the unhappiness. Right, just keep... Just keep spending money, I suppose. Could probably upgrade... You to a commercial basin. Let's check our... Barbary states have been destroyed. Let's hold on, we've got a spy in Persia. Let's send him to stay near Nerun. You stay near Kabul. So who finally took it? Sweden. Sweden sail around. So we've got our school. Yes. Upgraded the religious building as well. Serbia's got an iron mine. And Serbia also has new roads. Oh, 
upgrade the craft workshop. You upgrade the Pasha's Palace. You also upgrade Sultan's Observatory. And also the Cannon Foundry. So this guy can also help feed priests up to um, here. Athens is pretty happy, to be honest. I'm, I'm probably okay not converting that last percentage. These guys are well, they're fairly happy. I don't know, them as is. It's got a second rate ship of the line. I need a way. Just about holding on to Ankara. Let's push push you up. We pretty much need to just keep some troops always following our main armies in order to make sure they don't get too badly damaged or mauled at any one particular battle. So yeah, this general's done good. Topal Hamid, steady under fire and mentioned in dispatches. My tech is still pushing on. Actually, I might check. Have I got any... So you're in a school, you're all the way over there in Reykjavik. You're in a school, you're in a school. Oh, they're all there. Okay, they're all in. Okay, all of my gentlemen that have currently generated are all at work. Hey, the Austrians have pushed and they're trying to take Serbia from a different bearing. Let's see them off. Is it just me, or do they look a bit in trouble? That's how it looks to me. It looks like the Austrians are... Uh, well, they're falling back in, in all directions. So let's build our power. Put up a nice defensive position. Force them to push into us. Gotta be a bit careful on one of my flanks because I got a very weak. This is the Janusry Musketeer unit that got absolutely smashed. You can have the stronger. Mounted contingent, and you can also have my Feline Musketeers. Let's combine, just dot the troops around, give them a bit more melee support. General in the centre. Good job, a lot of my strength wasn't put onto the, uh, onto the left. redeploy a lot of my stuff over from the flank because these guys might be in a bit of a pickle. We're, bullet, we're bombarding the hell out of their artillery such so that they've only got one gun left. good our men are compared to uh, Provincial Cav. Provincial Cav is pretty poor quality. It's very light. I mean, our guys are pretty light too, but they're also very experienced. Good, we've knocked out the artillery. Let's bombard some targets closer to home. Especially if you guys probably need to form square formation. You've not lost a single cover in yet. I certainly lose more when my cannons get over here. When my um, camels get over here.
send one to intercept that line infantry. I'll send both of my cavalry to intercept the line infantry unit. My camels can deal with the. Can you guys run? Get out of position. Push my Felina to get some flanking shots into this enemy position. It's got to bear in mind we do not have a very stellar um, uh, amount of firepower compared to almost any European army. This line infantry unit sends you to maybe attack the guerrilla mercenaries. You, 28th Auto, just reload and fire as quickly as you can. Artillery has to bombard the Hungarian line infantry. Charge our melee infantry in because we've got a, we've got a bayonet charge. So let's be careful about these spikes. Fortunately, they're facing the wrong way. We come after the garrison guards. The line infantry has been routed. Killing them. The Bashis have pushed back part of the enemy attack. Oh no you don't. Don't fall for that old gag. The old retreat through the lines ploy. Swiss Grenadiers, they're not poor quality infantry, but our Bashis are having a great time. Feline have lost a third of their men, but we're doing some serious damage with our artillery, so our, our guys only have to, realistically, they only have to stay in position. They don't have to do lots of damage. Good, attack the camel nomads. Get these men to start rolling the flank up. You need to start kind of stirring Hungarian grenadiers. I'm really not utilizing my melee infantry very well. get my very weak Mamelukes to go hit the 4th Infantry. Go on there. Oh, they were round. They were very unhappy. You chase down the baddies. God, they've got to have blown a massive chunk out of this infantry. There we go. Roll them up. My camels will take care of them. Oh, damn, they did actually route. Pretty depleted. Hope 
for even if reloaded. And then can just open fire. Ah, oh, damn. mercenaries were engaging my camels. They're a very resilient bunch, these Austrians. Make sure not to overstretch. Let's pick our guns. Give them new targets. You may as well try and kill the Hungarian Grenadier unit before gunning it safely back to your own lines because you are being pot shot at by infantry and this is a chance I could lose my general. Yeah, I don't think the mercenaries are going to stand up to too much enemy fire. Yeah, I think that's their lot. Absolutely continue. You guys hold, hold up. You men take them out. My camels. Take them out. Artillery. Chill out. Then just kill as many of them as you can. Well, it looks like these guys are probably going to rout, so don't worry about it. But then again, so are most of them. Camel Nomads are going to exact their revenge on the irregular unit that caused them so much damage and have actually initially caused them to rout. But not enough. Fourth Regiment of Foot is a very elite line infantry unit. Four chevrons. But they have been ground under the heel. And now you can see what I mean about needing to keep troops in reserve. Of course they retreated that way. Spain offers an alliance. As long as I give them tech, I'm like, no. I don't want to give them government wide consent. That's a good technology to have. Prussians are pushing on Poland. Too bad we're not already at war with Prussia, though. So all I can do is expand into Austrian territory and, and uh, call it a day. They demand no. A thousand for any tech is this late in the game is too low. I shall not accept it. Lots of troops heading to the Caucasus front. I say lots, about five units. <laughs> Morocco continues. It's pilgrimage, as is tradition. The Mughals are continuing to... I mean, the Mughals are quite the uh, colonial power. Venice is declared on us. Could be a world war. Venice was inevitable um, because we are on en route towards Venice. They may try and fire an army at us. They've got a, their navy's bad in comparison to our glorious fleet. OK, 
Okay, let's spend some money getting another secondary into the fleet. Let's send... Ah. So, I suspect the AI probably wants to land and try and take... Uh, hope, well, hopefully not somewhere useful. But I suspect it will be Greece. So here's a new... I guess here's a new relief column forming. We're just going to push north. You men, repair yourselves. And then I did note we did have a lot of cash in the bank. So you're now. You're happy enough, I'm not bothered about your religion. You're, you are slowly converting. You're almost 100% Islam. Um, hmm. Well, it might be time to send the Imams over towards this territory. Let's upgrade the farms. So I'm not at war with Prussia, so we've not, we haven't got a massive front line, so I'm not too worried about Prussia yet. You are going to try to take out this priest. If you do, I'd love it. Nope, he got spotted. Instead, this army under Topal Hamid. Oh, you're actually a bit knackered, aren't you? Okay, let's do... Replenishment through combination to at least have some combined strong units. Uh, actually, a lot of like, no, to be honest, I, this army's pretty good. Okay, let's spend one last. Send some more troops there. Okay, let's move these two units fall back to Bulgaria so I can push up with some more useful troops then march up and hit Ottokar Blum um, I think I probably ought to resolve that to be honest uh, unfortunately we did not actually kill them all so they're going to march out of Serbia kill them get back to Serbia bit more replenishment costs same with you move back to the ford okay craft oh, I've got some basic craft workshops have been built oh they're pushing on us with another army right when I've sallied out and done some offensive ops heavy defensive battle needed and we desperately need to move up troops to help support the salient however looking at the timer i think it's time to end the part so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the ottoman empire cheers everyone